this is a normal Minecraft world. Uh, maybe not. Because I got nine of the most confusing things in Minecraft and hit them across my world to secretly troll my live stream. With the most confusing thing in Minecraft history waiting right at the end. So it was time for the first troll and I began by running to this village. Only this isn't actually a village. Because this is actually my friend who had secretly morphed into this entire structure before the stream. And as I ran around the village, he was now standing completely still so that no one would notice. Guys, we actually found a pretty good village. This is actually not bad. Now as I turned away to get this tree, my friend quickly ran away and jumped in this hidden mechanism. So as I looked back around, the village had now mysteriously vanished. I had to make sure that I didn't get caught out or the stream would have to end and this was only the first of many insane trolls to come. So I headed to troll number two and my chat went out asking me why I'd gone to the nether. But actually, I wasn't. See, before the stream, I spent two hours setting up this entirely fake nether up in the overworld. And using the glass mod, I projected an image of the nether onto the inside of this box where I was now standing. So then on my stream, I could do things you're not able to do in the nether because it's all a fake illusion. So the trolling began and I started by breaking this quartz that I placed to make room for a farm. We can at least take this. We'll get everything we can. I had to be really careful which blocks I broke in case I exposed the real world just outside. One single slip up on the entire stream would be ruined. So after placing some dirt, I grabbed my bucket because every farm needs water. Right, right guys. So after placing Placing down my water bucket, I had now made the perfect nether farm. Now, since my audience were distracted, it was time to get some rest. So I decided to leave the nether. I'm joking, of course I didn't. I just grabbed my bed and placed it down to get some sleep. All right, good night, guys. See you guys in the morning when I wake up. My chat were now starting to lose their minds. How is that possible? My head hurts. But whilst all this had been going well, things were about to take a turn for the worse. Because people in my chat started to catch on that something wasn't quite right. And they started saying that the nether was fake. I'm not really sure why. This place is huge. It's bugging out in my game. I was now really, really stuck. Well, actually, I was prepared. See, I set up this real nether portal through this hidden piston door just in case anything went wrong on the stream. So I went into the portal. All right, let's just get out of this place. Now, when people thought that they caught me out, I had just come through a nether portal inside the nether only to end up back in the nether once again. And whilst my viewers were losing brain cells, I quickly moved on to troll number three. And this one was the craziest one yet. I began by entering this house house. We made it. We can finally relax now. Actually, that's a lie. Because I'd built this house off camera and made a secret hiding spot behind this painting where my friend would be waiting. Disguised as a witch. So that he could run out and secretly splash a shrinking potion on me. Making everything in my house look gigantic and making me tiny. Wait, this is average height, right guys? And then when my audience caught on, I would grow back to normal size as if nothing ever happened. And then the last part of my troll was hiding through this door, but we'll get to that in a minute. I was nervous and it was time for the trolling to begin. So I went into this room and entered the chest to try and distract my audience. Wait, oh, actually, no, we could make a diamond sword, you know. I had to make sure that no one saw my friend sneaking up behind me or the troll would not work. But luckily, he was out. He threw the potion and it had worked. All right, guys, it's perfect. We have everything we need now. I'd been shrunk and everything in the room now looked massive. And so far, they had no clue that I'd just been shrunk. So I took a casual walk around my house to see if anyone would notice that anything think it changed. Come check out my house, folks. Come check out my house. We got different rooms, but then as I went upstairs, my luck was about to run out. I went in this room and my witch friend was stood there right in the open for my audience to see. He was meant to be hiding back behind the painting downstairs. Since what I didn't realize is that he'd gone upstairs to kill a creeper which spawned in the room right next to my hidden mechanism. And as I entered this room, the creeper exploded, killing my friend in the process. And it made a hole in the wall which was hiding my redstone mechanism. Oh my god, okay. Okay, we just need to stay calm. I need to stay calm. I was stressing out because this was the mechanism which was the only way to grow me back to my normal size. And now I was broken and I couldn't just go and fix it on the stream right in front of my viewers. So in a moment of panic, I ran down the stairs whilst my friend went up there to try and rebuild the entire mechanism. No problem, all right? We're, we're fine. We survived. Isn't it nice weather today? Look look how beautiful it is out there. He had to be fast and quickly fix it because people would get suspicious and they were already violating me about my height. This is how short you are in real life. But a few minutes later, my friend had pulled off a miracle and the mechanism had been fixed. So I quickly stepped on this tripwire which grew me back to my normal size and my audience's confusion was growing. So I headed on to troll number four and this one was the riskiest one yet. And as I entered this mine, everything here looks pretty normal, right? 
wrong because I tunneled out this mine before the stream so I knew the exact route that I would take. And along all of the walls, I placed these mirrors from the immersive portal mod that I secretly installed. Wow, look at my <laughs> physique. And halfway down this mirror hall, the mirrors suddenly ended and were secretly replaced by these glass blocks where my friend with the exact same skin would be waiting to copy all of my exact movements. This could easily go wrong, so I was getting nervous. So I was now deep in the mine and I was trying so hard not to look at the mirrors. All right, anything here? I'm not really seeing much in this cave. And now my audience had seen the mirrors. They were asking me to go back so they could get a closer look. But I wasn't going to do that, of course. But now my audience thought that they caught me out. So I headed down the mirror tunnel where my friend was waiting. All right, let's go check out the rest of the cave. We can probably find some more stuff down here. I don't, I don't even know what those things are right there. And as I reached the end of the real mirrors, it was time to step in front of the glass. All right, you guys got me. Yeah, these are these actually are mirrors. You saw it on the uh, mod, but... It's, it's pretty cool though, right? Check it out. I actually couldn't believe that I was working and the chat was going crazy. Yo, I'm actually confused AM. But after me and my friend broke the diamond door in exact sync with each other, I thought that we were in the clear. When people started asking me to break one of the mirrors, my chat were getting suspicious, but if I broke the mirror, then they would literally know that it was my friend behind there. But if I didn't break it, then they were going to think that I was hiding something. Break the mirrors. Wait, why would I break the mirror? Why do you guys want me to do that? I don't understand. I didn't even know what to say so i quickly ran back down the tunnel to the real mirrors and broke one of them on my stream to try and cover my track i think it had worked and i've managed to save myself we were now one step closer to the ultimate troll waiting at the end so i headed into this village now you might be wondering why the grass looks kind of suspicious well that's because i'm just kidding the grass is actually normal but this church over here is where the troll was waiting see inside the tower i set up multiple hidden immersive portals meaning that when i try and climb the ladder I'll never actually make it to the top because the portals would secretly send me to this replica church up in the sky above me, turning it into a never ending ladder. I also set up this mechanism in this house opposite, but we'll get to that in a minute. But for now, it was time for the plan to begin. So I headed inside the church and I started by taking this brewing stand just to make it seem pretty normal. Oh, okay. Let's actually take this whilst we're here since I know we'll probably need this later anyway. Now, when I turned around, I got onto the ladder and began climbing to the top. Let's go on. Um, let's go check out the tower. We can see what's around the area whilst we're here. The troll was underway as I climbed and climbed without ever actually going anywhere. We're almost there. Come on. I even started looking at different places inside the church so that people didn't think anything was weird. All right. I think we're almost there now. This should be perfect. I was harvesting brain cells by the minute as people spammed in the chat. Can you hurry up already, bro? So I now knew that it was time to step it up and up. So I left the church and I headed over to the illusion staircase. All right. Let's go check out the other houses and stuff. Wait, 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 what are we going inside here? Let's go up these stairs then, I suppose. I was now walking round and round without ever making any progress. It's a long staircase. Yeah, I know. It's taken me a while. See, every time I stepped on this tripwire, it sent me to an alternative dimension with a replica of the exact same staircase. Yeah, this is this is pretty good exercise. It's like doing CrossFit in real life. As my audience were getting more confused, I headed to Buzzy's house, which was troll number six and the best one yet. And as I entered through his front door, my secret plan was now underway. What plan, you might ask? Well, I constructed this house with this chamber at the front and I placed a poppy in this barrel. But this wasn't actually a poppy. It was actually a retextured gravity device, which I was going to use to flip upside down and confuse my viewers. Because I made this house so that even when you're upside down, everything looks like it's the correct way up. Because the stuff inside the house is actually on the roof right above you. So I got straight to work, entering the house and I grabbed the poppy from the barrel. Oh, there's stuff inside. Okay, should we take some of this? <laughs> do you think he, do you guys think he would notice? And after clicking on the poppy, I was now on the ceiling. All right, awesome. We got some free stuff. Do you guys want me to go check it out? Let's do, let's go explore his house, I guess. Yo, what? Who who makes a house like this? It's literally empty. And I was making sure not to look up at the ceiling because everyone would see my friend and his dog stood right above me. Wait, I swear that he was inside his house like a second ago. And my viewers were getting confused about why his house was so empty. Your friend is the worst builder I've ever seen. But it was now time to step things up a notch, so I entered this doorway, which was actually on the ceiling, and I went inside this room. Oh, wait, where does this ladder go? Should we go up there? Let's go check it out. Spifey, please, my head is hurting. And after entering his farm room, I casually just took a look around. He's literally got nothing inside his house. I thought I was bad at building, but that's because his farm was on the roof right above my head. I even tried to tease my audience by placing this upside down painting on the wall. I mean, wait, this is, this is actually normal. What am I even saying? I now knew that it was time to destroy people's brains. 
themselves. So I headed over to my friend's farm and I started farming the crops on the ceiling. Wait, I can't grab the seeds. What's happening? I think it must be server lag or something. The brain damage was at an all time high. And now when Buzzy entered the room, he was standing right above me. All right, th th I'm actually pretty happy with that farm. It's looking, it's looking decent, right guys? Oh, here's Buzzy also. I think he came up the ladder. Now, as I headed to the exit to complete the troll, everything started to go wrong from here. Because the next troll that my friend had loaded in was lagging the server and my game was glitching all over the place. Oh my god. Yo, yo, what's happening? I was flipping side to side all over his house and my troll was literally getting ruined by the second. I tried fixing it by spam clicking the poppy, but it just wasn't even responding anymore. So there was only one obvious option left to blow up the entire world. Ah, uh, I'm only joking. Instead, my friend went onto the server panel and intentionally crashed it to try and fix the lag. And then as I logged back onto the server, the glitch had been fixed. And since my audience was still confused about what just happened, it was time for number seven. We were now only two trolls away from the destroyer of all brains. And I was now back inside my base. But everything is not quite as it seems. See, you might have spotted this tiny house over there on the table. But that's because I built this house and then I copied and pasted it so there were two of them. Except the second version was actually a tiny house which I was going to secretly enter on my live stream. After walking inside the big house, it was now time. In a split second, I managed to sneak inside the tiny house and I was pretending like nothing had even happened. Alright, okay, let's just get this little chicken farm going, fill this in. The mod was literally so insane that it messed up the outside of my house. And people in the chat just thought it was Minecraft fog and blamed it on my render distance. So, it was now time to step it up a notch. As my friend had now entered the house and was looking through the windows into my tiny world. We need seeds to breathe them? I think we do. We need seeds. People had now spotted my friend looking through the window and began to get freaked out about what they just saw. They were clearly just imagining this, so there's not even anything there. But now I wanted to confuse my audience to the max. So I ran outside of the tiny house into the big house. All right, let's um, let's let's head outside then. See if we can maybe make the house bigger. Uh, okay, what's around this side? All right, let's actually low. Let's go back the other way around. I'd never seen my live stream viewers get so confused. What the actual heck is even going on right now? It was all going better than I'd actually planned. But now as I headed back inside my house, everything got out of hand very quickly. See, the plan was that my friend friend was going to secretly set my tiny house on fire to try and stress out my viewers. But in the process, it somehow glitched out my entire world. All of the floor of my world was now made of like these air blocks or something. <laughs> Wait, what? Wait, like the floors disappeared. I'd never even seen anything like this and I just didn't even know how to react. Since the fire had bugged out my tiny world and it destroyed literally the only way to get back to the big world. What am I even standing on right now? I was stuck in there and the world was falling apart by the second. When suddenly this happened. Oh, no, what? Yo, what just happened? I'd fallen out of the world somehow. I was now falling endlessly into the void down below. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Everything was going wrong and the final troll was literally just around the corner. And somehow I died. But if there's any positives to this, I managed to spawn right back outside the house. So I quickly ran back in and snuck back inside the tiny house to begin repairing the damage. And what happened next was probably the best illusion I've ever done. Yo, what's going on right now? <laughs> Wait, 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 how am I, how am I in his hand? I was literally looking at a version of myself, holding my house in my hand and watching my own character run around in front of me. I'm so confused, my head is going to explode. My audience's suspicions were now growing, so I quickly moved on to troll number eight. All right, we made it to the desert house. Yeah, I think the desert's the best place to live, but I wouldn't be in this desert for long. You see, I built this house before the stream and I rigged it with a secret control mechanism and it's placed inside this hidden room. So whenever I would run upstairs inside the house, my friend would go to the control room and literally move the house across the Minecraft world. So then when I went back downstairs, my friend would go into hiding and I would walk outside the house in a completely different area. My friend was now in position, so I got ready to go upstairs. All right, let's head upstairs. Wait, 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 wait. What is the spider doing right now? Now I was upstairs and in position, my friend got to work. The house was literally tilting every direction as it moved across 
across the world. All right, there we go. Let's just get this going. So I simply started walking on a farm whilst my friend moved the house. All right, there we go. People had now started to notice that something wasn't quite right. What's up with the pig, Spifey? Um, I don't know. I mean, they seem pretty normal to me. So we've now arrived at the first location and I headed outside to check out the biome. All right, it's a pretty good area I built my house in, actually. And then I headed back upstairs inside my house for round two. My friend was flying the house like crazy and the world was literally tipping upside down. All right. Okay, guys, yeah, we got tons of carrots now. This should be perfect. We were now at a new location and my house was finally in a solid spot. Now, this was cool and all, but I decided I wanted to go fishing. But unfortunately, I just couldn't get any fish. So I took the only logical step and went fishing inside my house instead. All right, this is um, this is the perfect spot. Let me just find where I put my fishing rod. My house was now inside of the ocean whilst I went fishing and then slept in my bed under six feet of water on top of my head. When suddenly, out of nowhere, the house just started flipping over like crazy. Um... Um, <laughs> my friend was losing control of the house whilst I was trapped inside because the mechanics were breaking. All right, yeah, yeah, I think it's just, I think it's just lagging a little bit. He was trying to get it under control, but the house was now floating up into the sky. Literally everything was going crazy, but I had to focus, and before I could even blink, I was suddenly back underwater. Oh my god, oh, I'm dying. My health is going down so fast. But at the last second, my friend managed to fly the house back down to the ground, landing it in a snow biome, and the troll had been saved. Oh, it's sunset right now. Awesome. People had no clue what was even going on at this point. Dude, this stream has given me immeasurable mental pain and irreparable brain damage. So since my viewers were clearly enjoying the stream, it was time to reveal the most confusing troll in Minecraft history. Because this clip that you're watching right now isn't quite what it seems. Because I was actually playing Minecraft on a computer inside of Minecraft on my stream. The chat was going absolutely crazy. And so as I walked out of this computer room, I revealed that this entire stream was conducted whilst I sat inside of a giant toilet. Oh my god, my computer's overheating right now. If my stream suddenly dies, subscribe, like the video, and click on the next video on screen right now. Do it.